Discretion is advised. Happy Monday. You're listening and or watching Pwncast. This is episode 171. We are in patch 7.2.5. Tonight we're going to be talking about all the news uh, from World of Warcraft, including uh, some really good uh, patch 7.3 talk this time around. Not a whole lot of other news. We are going to talk about the Kirin Tor Tavern Crawl because I don't know about you guys, but I had a blast and I kind of wanted to uh, have a little discussion about that. But we have that and much, much more, so make sure you guys stay right here. You have crossed into the world of the dead in search of answers. Amongst the Azeroth elite, there is a group that defies convention. A group that stands in the face of trolls and doesn't flinch. A group that strives on unity, trust, and unwavering resolve. A group that eats tacos. For the players, by the players, we bring you... She can start a revolt with a chaos bolt. Bell, the Pwncast Vanguard. Snap back and get faster for the pet battle grandmaster, Gemma Banks. He's sharp as a dagger with that dapper swagger, Secret Sauce. With Holy Might as strong as his ancient knowledge, Remedies, the Argent Loremaster. We bow to no one. We are Legion. We are Pwncast. Welcome back. Uh, these fine two gentlemen right here, and I say fine in the, you know, fine sense, not in the... Fine, fine sense. So let's not get crazy or make this weird. I do have them muted, but I'm going to go ahead and unmute them right away because I wanted to conversate with them, and I feel like this is but Yeah, Jimmy good... Banks, I don't have much morals, but, I mean, i got to have some for the... Oh, hi. It's you true. Gotta you you got to have gotta some do. somewhere over the rainbow. Uh, guys, thank you for joining What's me. What's up? Like, My I pleasure. feel like we haven't spoken, even though we were just talking. <laughs> like it's been... Where are we? Well, it's I was, been a busier week. I haven't been was, around as much in the week. But. It was a busy week. Uh, I was busy doing all kinds of things. But yes, it was quite busy. But I, as you guys have noticed, we are down a secret. Don't know where secret is. That's okay. We are independent, guys. We don't need anybody to be whoever we are. I don't know what that means. I, I need you a little. I don't know where that was going. I couldn't Well, I you need you things. guys because I am no fun alone. Like, I feel like individually we're not that entertaining right like we're I not entertaining i agree i don't know if <laughs> banks is he, he, he is entertainment all right his own for sure um i think it's more of you're laughing at me not with me type he, of <laughs> out of non-wow related he snapchatted i think it was yesterday a picture of a squirrel just like what was it doing it was just, spread eagle it was like just spread on the it scared me because i was walking back from break and i'm like what and then I broke out my That phone. got me laughing when I was eating dinner. Was I dumb. laughed Not really hard at that um, for no reason, just because it was a spread eagle squirrel on the sidewalk in Canada. And I felt like that was normal, yeah. right? Was, is that normal? Like, oh, like no, normal. Not normal. Not, squirrels don't normal. But the squirrels at work are crazy because they're just like feeding you. And there's like families that come out of the dumpster garbage cans with like full <laughs> half sandwich or half sandwiches. And uh, yeah, they're out of control. We don't have that wildlife stuff here. We have prairie dogs and uh, prairie coyotes dogs and hyenas occasionally but we don't have spread eagle squirrels on the wait desert. you have hyenas we do hyenas in the in the deserty part there's always posts in the facebook groups about rabid hyenas going through people's trash and it makes me laugh because i can anytime someone says hyena i think of the lion king and the laughing that's hyenas. what i like, yeah exactly what i thought i'm of. super immature and i know that that's not real life but i feel like that that is but I did bring the monk who obviously has never used Thoughtbot, which is a real shame, Jimma Banks, that you never had the pleasure of using That's so funny. Thoughtbot. Uh, I have used it, but I used to refuse to use it because when I was, was cheating. Not because it was cheating, but because I it's funny because we kind of discussed this separately. I didn't know what my intro was going to be. But I remember how I said I just don't fit in in the Internet world as far as oh. just like. So when WoW, when I when I was like, I don't know what to do for the quest, and it wouldn't tell you in the game as far as like where to run in the dot, people told me about Thoughtbot, and I'm like, that's dumb. I shouldn't have to look up every time I got stuck, because I literally was getting stuck on almost every quest. <laughs> but if I would just accept that that's how the game would be played, I probably... Would have been happier in your life. I would have hit max level, I'm sure, in vanilla and not quit and come back. As and a person who, in the beginning of her WoW career, didn't have friends in World of Warcraft, was not in a guild. This was before yeah. Group Finder, when you were on your own. And if you didn't um, 
if you didn't have friends, you didn't dungeon, right? You didn't instance because... That was me. Yeah, so, and that was me. And ThoughtBot honestly saved my life. And even to this day, there's older quests when I'm leveling. Instead yeah. of going to Wowhead and dealing with all their ads, uh, please note the shade thrown there. Uh, instead of doing that, I still go back to ThoughtBot for the older stuff because the server really? is still there. Yeah, I yeah. still yeah. I still I'll tell that. about that. Like, it literally kills my CPU to go on WoWhead right now because my ad blockers... Yeah, it's like... bad. <laughs> well, they bypass, for those of you that use WoWhead, if you use ad blockers, what they do is they constantly change, but the, what they do is they're pulling it via JavaScript. So mm -hmm. it's being pulled dynamically instead of sitting on the page, so it's a lot more difficult for ads to be able to grab that oh. um, and block it. It's just... it's. I don't even use it for the wowhead. I use it for the comments from players because the right. players have screenshots. They give you coordinates. These guys knows what they're doing because that's what they're, you know, and the, the wowhead commenters, man, if they, if we could just have a forum of just these guys commenting, I, my life would be fulfilled. But ThoughtBot was the only way Bell did anything back in the day when we were hitting crabs with sticks, like no joke. That was real life. And I think with you, it just brought up more memories from the early days when I would refuse to do that. A, an older lady at work uh, promised to quest with me that night in Ashenvale. And she was so efficient. I would leave the area and have seven quests completed. And I loved it. And it was just made me think of, you know, maybe you when you didn't have any friends that you really knew. You were gaming with different people of all ages. And I think that's what this game and maybe some of the beauty of it is playing with people you don't know in different yeah, my first set of friends were 16 year olds and I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even feel my husband's like you're friends with a bunch of kids they're the only ones that will talk to me right now this was before i think it might have been just started. when i moved to argent dawn so it was like right when i got there from being on a pvp server i was on natherzeem so i feel like he was like you're seriously playing with a bunch of teenagers i'm like they're the only ones that are talking to me and i need to know what to do it oh, is a hard game to start off with yeah. Go ahead. oh yeah for sure I actually still talk to some of the people I first started playing with, like, ever, so. Well, we have a, a guildie who was one of my teenage friends who is now a grown adult. Uh, Yasmusa was, he was, I think he was only 16, and we were in a previous guild he's together, and he came still over. Still 16. What are you well, talking about? he's a about? grown man now, but it's nice because I got to watch him grow up, like, you know. Oh, a... by the way, I don't know if he watches this, but happy birthday, Yasu. Happy birthday, Yas. Yas. Oh, speaking of birthdays, <laughs> mine was yesterday. You're such a liar. My word. I saw all the people saying that. I was like, is it really? I thought, yeah, they yeah. Were, I thought you were being trolled. No, because uh, the new Facebook profile didn't notify anyone. So no oh, one. I feel kind of bad. Those. I no, have don't, a belated don't. birthday. What a dick. Don't. I didn't tell anyone. And if you're not going to get the notification, it's not on you. It My excuse fine. is that we're American. The only way we I know birthdays, know honestly, <laughs> if it's not if it's not fr if it's not direct family, the only yeah. way I know birthdays is Facebook. Is Facebook? Yeah. No, and that's true. So I just didn't update it or anything. But uh, oh, no, you're fine. Remedies is gonna. We're gonna sing you happy birthday at the end of the show. It's gonna be a special. Yeah. Treat. Ram, um, so I have to go somewhere. <laughs> I did also bring the paladin who maybe becoming dissuaded from the light rem what does that even mean are you gonna hang up your paladin hammer i'm gonna do something because i'm enjoying the hell out of some of my other alts examples yeah. uh the shaman for instance fun it's really really fun yeah mm -hmm. um the warrior it's not 110 yet but what arms used to be like just a wet noodle but now it's actually um what's the word Maybe some Bible. people like wet noodles, Rem. I do like pasta and wet noodles. Yeah, it hits hard. You're saying? <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> getting enough. That pun was not it, even but... intended, and it happened. <laughs> That's why it was beautiful. Uh, but no, I'm I'm in a, a conundrum of um, being an alcoholic once again, and I need to figure out the great uh, conundrum. Yeah. I'll figure something out. Well, I feel you there because I do like playing some of my alts. Not as much as Belle. I, I will never love anything like I love Belle. She's my main bitch. But I feel like some, like my rogue. I, I enjoy leveling my rogue. But I, I do um, mm -hmm. enjoy other things. But I think that's a testament to how Blizzard is tuning these classes. That it's making these alts yeah. enjoyable to play. So I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah just even visual effects is a big thing alone. Because Chaos Bolt's the biggest love for you. So Now... There's going to be a live developer Q&A with Ian Hazakostas on uh, August 3rd at 11 a.m. So that's Thursday, I believe. 
now we're starting these Q and A's. You know what that means? That means patch soon. My uh -huh. predictions: the last week of August, possibly the first week of September. I'm still gonna go with. I, I'll know in a week or two when I see some more PTR happenings and kind of going according to the build. Um, but I, I'm pretty positive we're looking at by the first week of September for the patch. Doesn't mean the raid's gonna drop mid mid September for the raid for sure. Um, but I think that this. Softy kind of did the math on the patches, and I think there's seven yeah, to seven what, days, seven days yeah, 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 in between, which I haven't been predicting them based off Softy's math. He just did the math the other day and was like, hey, you're you're right about the every three month kind of thing. Uh, I just noticed that it coincided with um, it coincided with the Whenever they start talking quarters. about things, pretty much, well, the yeah. quarters is when it coincides with. But I don't think they're doing any data add any data additions to the Last next word. season of PVP. So it might be a little bit more difficult for Bell to predict because I do cheat using the PVP seasons as a conf confirmation. However, um, I'll hopefully I'll have a, a better clue in the next whatever, whatever. Now, yeah. Gamescom um, is in Germany, right? Yes. And that's August pff, something. I can't remember the date, but it's like mid to late August. But I think we're expecting... Um, the, most if, of the world is expecting a expansion announcement, which that's not me predicting, guys. That's just we're just going based off sense. past things well, and, and just yeah. the, the way that things are lining up with them kind of wrapping the story up in Argus and the things that we've seen uh, come mm -hmm. across our visuals for PTR. I think it just makes the most sense. So stating the obvious, really, but to everybody, it's not obvious. So I'm just making sure that it's obvious to you guys, which means we'll see some demos, hopefully, at uh, at BlizzCon, if that's a thing. I'd like to see yeah. some demos. And then if you're a member for BlizzCon with Legion, we got all the the meat and potatoes of stuff. So we got we got to really just kind of focus on that, which was super nice. Yeah, um, I, for one, welcome our new old gods for the new expansion. Right, so. the new old gods as opposed <laughs> to the old old gods. Agreed. I think we need new ones. Um, let's talk about the Kieran Tor Tavern Crawl. Now, you guys know last month I was super What's disappointed, that? or it was this month, uh, super disappointed in the Auction House Dance Party because it was lame. However... Boy, did Blizzard redeem themselves with the Kieran Tor Tavern Crawl because I before I did it before raid and I wanted to see how many taverns I, it cycled through. Fun fact, uh, Malu, which is a, a guildie of mine, he's been in the guild for quite a few years. He's one of my favorite people in the world as far as guildies are concerned. He did tell me that there's 200 taverns in game. Ooh. FYI, useless information, but good to know. So far, it looks like it only cycles through about nine or ten because I kept getting duplicates. I don't know if they plan on adding to it. There was some phasing issues with the items that you could collect. So for those of you that didn't partake, because by the time you watch this, the tavern crawl will be over because it's only one day. Um, basically, you start in Dalaran, you click on a little mage who is kind of, she kind of has like a little light coming from above her. You click on her and she'll port you to the first tavern. When you go into that tavern, there's going to be several different types of food that are from that specific, you know, land or whatever there's like it varies on place to place and there's also beverages and that beverage is specific to that place which some of these were pretty funny like the sargera sangria which i don't remember what the buff was for the sargera sangria i forget oh so. it made you translucent isn't that the one that made you translucent rem uh yeah give you like it was like translucent with like red effects on it and cool. then the tavern, the mist, the tavern of the mist, or the mist tavern, or whichever of that one where we deal with Rathian, that one had the blackout punch, right? Where it kicked you back and then made your screen Literally black. Blocks out your screen. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then all over the place, there were these things called discarded uh, packages, and these discarded packages had various types of things. They had hats, sunglasses with like gemstones around them. I it took me probably seven or eight taverns before i actually got the box with my top hat because i'm obsessed with top oh, okay hats yeah i want something like that but we uh i went in there before raid i was actually late for raid because i needed to i wanted to do all the things in there obviously it's funner with friends right like if you go in there by yourself and you're not interacting with some of the people sometimes when i was in there alone i just would randomly dance with people and just like brush on them and twerk on them and just kind of make interesting oh, conversation my. but um the highlight here is the Thirsty Alley, which I was extremely amused at the name. I had never been there. It's behind the Storm Stout Brewery, and um, you clicked on the kegs to drink the kegs, and it had, like, lightning exploding and leftover Chinese boxes for you to eat to get a food buff. And the Super buffs are different. Each time you eat a food, it's a different buff. But 
You would think they'd do it on a weekend where guildies can do it as I a know, group. I know. That's kind of odd for a Monday, yeah. And knowing that hopefully they don't choose to do it on a Monday again because that's show day and that's super inconvenient for us. But I would like it to be next time I'll probably do an I'll do an event where Jimma had talked about every time you go to a new tavern because the, the tavern rotates. So I think it's on a 10 minute timer, but I'm not 100% sure. But that little gnome, when she, when she has a new portal for you to go to a new tavern, she'll turn like see-through. So you'll know visually that she can port you somewhere. Until then, you just kind of have to hang out into that tavern. Yeah. The and then you'll take a shot. <laughs> and you, I just kept drinking. I threw up on the barkeep in, I want to say Moonglade. I'm not sure where we were. might have been Scythalis, one of the one of the taverns in there. But I threw mm -hmm. up, I like, green spewed all over, uh, which is pretty funny. Why does it got to be green? I but I wanted to show a selfie. Uh, we went in, the three of us went into the tavern crawl, now it Super looks friends. it looks fuzzy, but it's not. It's me drunk. Like I'm <laughs> super drunk right now, and as you see, um, Grandmaster Jimma Banks is doing his pelvic thrust, and Rem is about to do a pelvic thrust, and me, I'm doing my basic white bitch girl dance. Uh, but that was just a nice little, just a couple dance moves. Yeah, and me and my top hat. I'm really happy. I think this was the Booty Bay one. I'm not 100 percent sure which uh, which tavern that is, but it looks like it might be the Booty Bay. But that was that fun, was guys. Great. I had a blast, and I was completely okay. amused. Um, I hung out with some of the guildy, a couple of the guildies in there before, and we were just, just making, doing random weird stuff. It was just nice. Uh, but I think that with the dance house, the auction dance house thing, they, if Blizzard would implement what they did with this tavern crawl, with make maybe make it where you could pick a dance or something, I think they would have uh, had a winner. Or at least have like music, different music when you enter. Something, it. right? Like give yeah. me, give me something. What did you, you guys know, think of the tavern crawl? It was fun. I think with you guys, uh, I was trying to find a way to stick up for the the auction house one, but I didn't participate. So um, yeah, it was fun. It was cool. I ate a lot of uh, don't get weird different meat in uh, ratchet or or that that one and uh, copy on the ratchet meat. Right. Uh, yeah, it was fun. What did you guys? I mean, you liked it, Bell Rem. I liked it. I was super excited for this one just because I'm. I'm a beer person. He's so not I was alcoholic like, oh. is what he meant to say. <laughs> I didn't want you guys to know the truth. Connoisseur. Uh, alcoholic. Beer snob. But anyways, no, I was super excited because I was like, maybe they're going to implement like different effects for it, which they did. But I mean, some of it was just kind of like, okay. But some of it was kind of cool, like the lightning brew and um, what was the it? The root beer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the coolest thing was those boxes with the, the hats and all that. It was only like a four hour buff on it, but got like the top hat chef's hat a pimp hat stuff like that it's just it's nice to actually have an interaction with it instead of going into a room that was no music no anything it was just it was nice i liked it good i may or may not have snapchatted you talking you may have they could definitely improve it but like well, I said, the phasing was crappy because stuff kept disappearing and reappearing yeah, the phasing was awful yeah, yeah. But if you remember, it was supposed to be a couple months ago when they had issues. So it's probably good. They probably just did it for like a tester. Like, let's just throw it out there and test it. But if yeah. anybody from Blizzard listens or watches this, you have money with this one. Like, add to it because this was a really fun one. And I don't enjoy much in the way of these micro holidays because to me, they just don't make any sense. But this one was super fun. And if you... Yeah, this is a good example of what they could be, yeah. And I plan on doing it. I plan on doing a guild event next time now that I know what to expect. I think that that would be really fun for the guild. I think that would be intriguing for Blizzard, too, when they hear things like that, when people can do it as groups or i don't know if they want to promote getting drunk at everyone i guess they are anyway calling it a pub yeah so Jimma's recommendation is to do a guild event and every time you go to a new tavern you I take agree. a shot in real life which i think is interesting i like that idea you'll find out a lot more about your yeah, guild for every new portal you have to take a shot and i tweeted to blizzard i tweeted to world of warcraft's account because i think it's lore that manages that during the day but i tweeted with pictures random pictures of me um and uh I put, you know, they, it was a good job with that one so that they knew good. Like, I really like this. So, yeah, feedback's important. Good things, good things. Um, so, we got two new mounts. One's the Vile Stalker. I didn't grab the images. Just want to make a note that that's there. And then I wanted to make note of Cadgar's uh, Stormcrow Arcane Raven. Now, the reason I wanted to make note of that is because I don't. Rem, where's this from? Like, what do you Cadgar mean, is rides this. Is this Cadgar's mount? Um, it's you know when we go first time 
we go to Broken Shore, and he has us on that arcane looking bird. Oh, okay. It's that. Okay. So it's, just, it's 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 an arcane, not a polymorph, but a transformation. Got it. Okay. So, yeah. Well, we can get that as a mount, which I figured Rem would like that because Dadgar. So I figured he yeah, would appreciate it, that. It looks awesome. And then so. the light forged Elec comes from the Army of Light, I believe, and it, Horde can use it as well. So it's it's friendly for both but it's the light forged elec which <sighs> i'm a little frustrated that we're doing tal books and elics but whatever like it's no nice. it makes okay so the army I know of the it light does i know is drain so it, it has to be valid. i learned that from drain like because we had remember there was like the four elex you could get when you did that one thing where you had to like ride the elex and do this weird shit and then you had to do some other stuff and you had to talk to this other person and then it, when you leveled an amethyst amethyst isle you dealt with the Elix there where you had to, like, do stuff for the Elix. Yeah, you had to race it, yeah. Yeah, and then you could buy... It's you know, called Elix Run, like, because Kessel's a run. I didn't hmm. even... I didn't even... You never know that? that? No, I didn't know wow. that. Wow. You um, teach us all kinds of things, Rem. I know. We, we learn. He makes us better people, guys. Like, he really does make us better people. Something I thought was really funny, the Doomsayers are back in PTR. The Doomsayers are in the new Dalaran. Now, here's what's funny. They're now called the Validated Doomsayers because they tried to warn us about Legion and we didn't listen. So because so, we didn't listen, they are now called, instead of just Doomsayer, they are called the uh, Validated Doomsayers and they are peddling more end of world talk in Dalaran. So I have a theory about that I'll actually talk about later. Oh, are you talking about that in your segment? You remind me about it, yeah. Sweet. So right now, um, they're handing out pamphlets, and I just find it so amusing that they're now called Validated. Like, I like that sense of humor with Blizzard, where it's like, seriously, they tried to get us to listen, and we didn't. Um, it's like those guys that are holding up the signs, like, end of the world, and they're like, I told you. Back to the end. Oh, Zombie right. apocalypse. No, Don't know if it's going to be rewarded, which I the believe. Bible I believe the pocket fell spreader was what we got last time, question mark? Is that what we got last time? For the Doomsayers? Know. Uh, pocket fell spreader or something else. Oh, that was where we had to find the dreadlord. You had to find the dreadlord and kill him. Yeah, no, the the pamphlets you're thinking about where we're going up and killing ourselves and killing ourselves. Yeah, we were cheesing the mechanics when we. Sh I don't know if that was legal, <laughs> but we did it anyway. Now I don't know what the rewards are, and neither does anybody else at this moment. Uh, at least as of this morning, when I double checked my notes, I didn't. There was no rewards, but hopefully it's something good. Um, whatever. Blah 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 blah. So. I, like I said, I'm quite happy that the validated doomsayers have been validated um, because reasons. Now, we mentioned the AP, uh, the artifact knowledge, being it was going to 51, right? When Patch is live, it, we go up every week automatically. So every week you'll get a different artifact knowledge level up to 55 now it was 51 coming up now. yeah it was 55 really? now it's 51 so they did make that adjustment and i'm pretty sure a couple weeks ago when i talked about that i said i didn't think 51 was going to be the cap this does make it easier for people with the concordance especially on your alts when you're trying to get your alts as, as much concordance as your main um which concordance of course is that last trait you want as much into that concordance as you can so that you can um get as much out of that as possible so they did make that change. Now, I want everybody to understand that there might be more changes coming for this as people are testing it in PTR. So don't take that as the final word because we don't really know. I had also talked about the Netherlight Crucible, which is the new, the addition um, with, that provides the additional relics and the artifact customization. I don't know a whole lot about that. And I had planned on talking about that tonight. And unfortunately, me and Rem were baddies. And last weekend, this last weekend, we did not do PTR. 99% of the reason I didn't do PTR is because I entertained family on Saturday. Uh, so my I was going to joke and say, you're playing too many alts. I know. No, my brother was here. And Saturday is my main game day. Right. Um, so I did. I just I didn't balance my real life very well. So I didn't get a chance. We. I am doing that this weekend, though. Come hell or high water, where I'm doing PTR, maybe even throughout this week. Uh, the kids go back to school next week, which means... How happy are you? It means I have... I can totally get my work done and come up here and do stuff and not have to hear them screaming. I'm so excited. But, uh, so, for the Netherlight Crucible, I'm going... I want to test this. Obviously, I can read anything off the internet, but 
you guys know I don't like to give you information until I've actually tested it so that I have a grasp and understanding of how that stuff works. I'm actually probably going to do a guide video on it as well so that I can come back and report the following week um, on how that works. So not that big of a deal, just interesting stuff coming. They've had lots of builds. I'm going to be following some of the class changes, major class changes. Since I'm playing so many alts, I actually understand a lot of these class changes now, which makes me really happy because this is the reason I wanted to play alts so that when I'm reading this kind of stuff... I can know already how it affects um, how it affects other people and other classes and specs that I don't play. So, really, really happy about that. Um, so that's pretty much it for the news as far as World of Warcraft is concerned. Uh, not a whole lot of stuff going on. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Um, now. Just want to make sure I grabbed everything. I feel like I had one other thing to talk about, but I think that might be in Bell's Bite, so might not be that big of a deal. However, exciting news for 7.3 coming with the new rating with leashes. And luckily, we have Jimma, yeah. the pet battle grandmaster, who's going to break all that down. Now, for those of you that are audio only listeners, um, I'm going to be putting the overlay of the pets on here. So if you want to jump over to the YouTube channel and watch the video so you can see all the pets as he's talking about them, would be fine. Uh, and the same for you YouTube listeners. If you have it on another screen or if you're alt out uh, doing other stuff and listening and you want to see what the pets looks like, you can check it out. So, Jimma, rating with leashes. What? Yeah, yeah. like a real yeah. Even Ram's in on it because, uh, yes, we have uh, rating with leashes five cuticalism. Cuticalism. Yes, like cuticalism or like. No, like cataclysm with cuteness. Even though some of these pets aren't cute, they're just uh, they're badass in a way. Uh, last Tuesday, when we woke up after we recorded the show, we got news of raiding with leashes five, a new one. This actually, after looking over all of the pets, might be the best one. The fourth one was really good as well, meaning the last one that they just came out. So that's pretty good as well. So we've got some new models, some recycled models, but overall some really cool looking models. The thing to remember always with the rating with leashes achievements is if you learn the pet and unlearn it, you can give it to a friend and you'll always have credit towards the achievement. So you can work together as friends. You don't have to do the same run together. I guess you could because it could give you an extra chance to drop or you could run them separately for your own gold because you can just solo them very easily uh, and then of course get a chance for the pet so trade with your friends and more importantly after you've learned them even if you are a hardcore pet collector just sell them you'll get them again uh, and if not if you can't let go of your pets just keep them in your collection but uh, yeah you can you can sell them because they're here to stay they're permanently in all of the cataclysm raids so I did kind of break down the different ones for each raid. Uh, starting off with Bastion of Twilight, we have the Bound Stream, which kind of looks like a, like a water elemental, I guess, in a way. And I, I kind of disregarded it at first until I looked at the stats. It is one of the faster ones, has 293 speed, meaning it's going to attack first in some scenarios. And it has a, like a heal, so it can heal itself and a team heal. And then uh, the Twilight. Light Clutch Sister. I like it is a reskin. Uh, I forget the name of what, but uh, I like this color much better. It's got that fashion of Twilight kind of color. Very nice looking model in my opinion. And then the Faceless Minion, it drops from Chogal. And uh, I was trying to actually ask Rem pre-show because I'm like, I've seen this before. It looks like a boss and I think it's one of the, looks like one of the bosses from Dragon Soul. Uh, but the Faceless Minion I was looking at Where's the abilities here? So not a fast pet, because I'm always looking at, at the fast pets, but it's got a Curse of Doom, which will explode for a lot of damage, and a Tentacle Stab, which kind of looks uh, unique. So that's cool. That's the last pet for Bastion of Twilight, just three in there. Moving on to Blackwing Descent, which is a, a cool raid, right? You got Tiny Tron, and it just drops off the Omnitron, which could be the first boss. Uh, Tiny Tron's all right. Uh, Rattle Jaw is one of the better looking ones, in my opinion. Uh, it looks like a you know cool skeleton, kind of got that death, death knight vibe going on. And I'm just going, where were the abilities there? Because one of the reasons why I liked it uh, or like undead pets, especially when they have the consumed corpse, uh, 
uh, ability. And what that is, it's just going to heal you. Uh, you usually don't lead with that pet because you can only use consume course if one of your team members are dead. So again, a very cool undead ability. Once your one of your teammates or your first pets die, you have a heal that consumes the corpse of the dead pet. So I like Rattlejaw. It looks really cool. The discarded experiment was one of my favorite looking ones as well. Um, that comes from Malarak. And I probably won't do any justice as far as like I was just talking to Rem and asking him what it looks like. And he was talking about just Malarak doing experiments. It just seems to be one of them, obviously, by the name. And uh, he was telling me all this cool stuff like he, it's, uh, I believe Malarak is an alchemist. Uh, trying to make different dragon spawns that are powerful. If I butchered that, I apologize. But I was just, yeah, briefly talking about the discarded experiment from uh, Blackwing Descent, which I thought was really cool. And then when you move on to the Throne of the Four Winds, of course, it's a smaller raid, less bosses. You've got Drafty, which just kind of looks like one of those uh, wind windy thingies. <laughs> it's so bad what I'm trying to explain. So what these it, ha like. it causes a draft to be in the room? It can, especially with moves like Autumn Breeze and Sandstorm. Doesn't look like you'll be able to use them together, but both good in their, like they're in the same move slot, basically. Autumn Breeze is the same move that the Blossoming Ancient has. It's cool because it just uh, reduces your enemy's uh, hit chance, but also heals your team up, so it's a good way to heal. Or Sandstorm is that ability that makes the Anubisath Idol very effective. Changes so, the really quick with the Sandstorm, if I play Darude Sandstorm, do I get an extra buff? Oh, man. I think you will a little bit. Plus one to greatness. Uh, I like that if we're talking about the same. I think he's Canadian. Not I'm doing that Canadian thing where Canadians always try to claim, oh, that person's Canadian. But I think that Sandstorm song is from a Canadian DJ. But yeah, very cool. Uh, it's got all these wind abilities, slicing winds. Uh, I don't know how it will do in battle, but uh, neat. The second one, of course, is the Zephyrian Prince. Kind of looks like Drafty, but with like more of an armor vibe going on it. Uh, I don't know if I got a chance to kind of look at the abilities there. I'm going to click on it real quick. It is an elemental. A lot of them were elemental uh, pets. This one also has Autumn Breeze, but instead of Sandstorm, it has Call Lightning. So another weather change. Changing ability, which call lightning, uh, just adds a little bit more damage to each hit or uh, increases the attacks from mechanical abilities. So uh, yeah, very similar moves the two of them, but I guess the difference is call lightning and sandstorm. Moving on to firelands and some of the cooler ones, I like the way the blaze hound looks, and I was pleased to find out that it was the fastest when i'm looking at the stats for pets i usually like the faster ones because they'll attack first so at level 25 it should have 293 speed which is very fast and magma trap which is somewhat of a unique ability it it throws down a magma trap just like little ragnaros i'm actually wearing my little ragnaros shirt right now i don't think you can see it but you lay that down and it will explode randomly in the next couple rounds but then you could use uh, the one ability uh, that increases damage. So that's cool. You could lay the trap, increase damage when it explodes. You got something really cool there. So Blazehound, and then you have the Cinder Web Recluse. I believe that's just the spider we've got. It's kind of like a reskin, but again, I like the color of it on this one. And then we've got the Surger which turned out to be the fastest one. I thought, I guess with the name Surge, or makes sense that it's fast. I kind of was pleasantly surprised. I kind of wrote it off as not one that I'll really care about, but uh, let's go to its abilities real quick here. Yeah, 309 speed at level 25, which is good. It's got the ability, ability Surge, which is an aquatic ability, which always goes first. And then it's got like a body slam and a stone skin, which will reduce damage or a volcano that drops a volcano on the ground. And then it will randomly shoot off over the next four rounds. So that's really cool. I like, I like a lot of the abilities uh, that they've given them. I'm excited to test them out. Then you have, uh, oh, I almost forgot. The last one in uh, Firelands is the Infernal Pyroclaw. And I, I didn't like that it was a beast pet. I like the way that it looks. It looks like a fiery scorpion. Probably one of my favorite looking ones. And it's got more of like reducing damage abilities or, or poison abilities. So 
Uh, yeah, I'll probably clean up Firelands pretty quick. And then you've got Dragon Soul. I feel like the last two are going to sell for the most gold. I don't know that for sure, but um, first you've got the mind, the Faceless Mind Slasher, which is one of the better looking ones in my opinion. I really like the way that it looks. I don't think we have any other pets that look like that one specifically other than uh, one of the first ones I mentioned, which was the... Uh, where'd you go there? Is it the, the Hashley? I like flasher? that he's wearing a full no. set of clothes. Like, he has his full garb, including, like, this neck thing. I appreciate that he's fully clothed. I like the colors on it, too, when Agreed. I was looking. Agreed. I'm pretending like I'm looking at it now, but it's just the image. I looked at them earlier. But, uh, yeah, I like the way that it looks, and I hope that it fights well. Uh, let me just quickly look at the abilities before I move on. No, he looks cool. Uh, the next ones that you want to focus on, not because they look the coolest. I feel like it's the they'll sell for the most gold. I know a lot of you listening can easily solo the Spine of Deathwing, but I also know people that can't or haven't looked up how to just do that themselves. So the Corrupted Blood drops off the Spine of Deathwing. And I just feel like that, and then the next one will sell for a lot of gold. Let's see the Corrupted Blood's um, abilities. Some of them, this is the first one I mentioned that has Cataclysm, but a lot of them do have Cataclysm, which is a 50-50 shot of hitting the enemy. So it just hits hard, but it's like a coin toss, whether it's going to hit or not. And then I like Heat Up also, that just does damage when you take damage. And uh, Elementium Bolt is cool, but also Explode is cool. Uh, it just, when your pet's almost dead, you use explode and it does a, a lot of damage to the enemy pet. So very cool. Not the most unique looking one, but I still think looks good. And then you've got the unstable tendril. Tendril? Yeah. I feel like will also be worth gold just because, uh, and maybe not. I mean, they're all going to be worth a few thousand gold. I would say anywhere from 5,000 to 10,000 gold. Uh, but I feel like the Corrupted Blood and the one I just mentioned, the Unstable Tendril, will just sell naturally for more because uh, you have to solo the, the Spine of Deathwing. So those of you listening that are not pet collectors, you can still get out and do them when these pets are available because it's going to be a lot, of, a lot of gold. You're running these raids already probably for gold or transmog anyway to get extra gold for the pets. Last but not least, the best looking one i don't know if i've ever said that maybe i implied that the infernal pyroclaw was the best looking one but obviously the meta achievement pet the amal amalgam of destruction amalgam we practiced that and i still can't say it. yes yeah practice does not make permanent with us on the show but i just love the way that it looks i'm going to be trying to get this achievement as fast as possible because i want to have this one in my collection and let's just quickly since it's the meta or the the final uh the final one the abilities uh it has cataclysm like we mentioned uh it should hit hard kind of uh, i mean all of the pets kind of hit hard but it's it's got 276 attack power and has a decent amount of health it also has volcano it also has a uh elementium bolt and i like uh fire shield which is going to uh deal damage every time I take damage. So I, I like little abilities like that. And uh, Flame Jet is also cool because it, it just burns your enemy. So it does a little damage and then we'll continue to burn them. So uh, Ammo, Ammo Game of Destruction is is an amazing looking pet. And uh, I'm super excited for, for the new pets. I want to thank- it might, I feel like it might be Amalgam, right? In its pronunciation? Amalgam. amalgam. Say it again. Amalgam, Yeah, maybe? Amalgam. Yeah, amalgam how was that? sounds more right. Amalgam I've been saying it in my head this whole time. I'm amalgam. like trying to work it out. What was I saying? A amalgam? Rem's That's really quick wrong. to be judgy and tell us when we are pronouncing things, but he seems to be quiet, and it's because he doesn't even know how to say it. I think he does. I Go ahead. Do you? It, I feel like sometimes really it's... No right or wrong. It's just... Oh, there amalgam, it is. Amalgam. Amalgam. Amal bubblegum. I don't know. I feel like sometimes he likes to watch us burn. I feel or, like sometimes he doesn't really know, and he just that hates too. to be wrong. That's true. So I do want to thank Sam for, Bell for, uh, you know, putting all those pictures up there for our viewers. And Rem's right. Uh, you know, I mentioned last week about uh, PVPing your favorite YouTubers, and I'm going to call someone out on the show. Ooh. One of my favorite YouTubers. I'm going to PVP pet battle if, if they're not too scared. Remedies. I challenge you. 
<laughs> PvP pet battle. I don't know. Can That's he? Not even fair. I have like two level twenty fives. You well, can we'll borrow some of mine. I have several. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, if you're not up for the challenge, that's understandable. Oh, I, I did want to just get Rem to laugh. He did help me finish my rating with Leisha's four achievement, and uh, by giving me the last pet, the more expensive pet, and I never returned it. So uh, <laughs> thank you. And uh, we're just kind of funny about him saying, "Oh yeah, don't worry about giving it away. Just sell it." I was like, "Oh." That's what yeah, it's, yeah, it's okay. kind of hard to sell it when you give it to friends. So it is important to have good friends to help you out with the achievement, and uh, hopefully they'll give the pets back, unlike, unlike Jimma. So. <laughs> yeah. I'm super amused by that, by the way. Um, too funny. Well, I thought I threw, like, rich people problems at him. I'm like, oh, just take a pet that's worth a double, right? <laughs> I gave him an ethereal soul trader. I thought it was good, but while we were talking pre-show he's like well no i kind of like the way that pet looked and uh, i'll find out what pet it was for my week and wow as far as the one he something, hooked something up with cool. while rem is gonna oh, take us ghoul. in while rem's gonna deep dive into some lore here uh jimmy you should find out why your internet is choppy um without turning off your box so that it doesn't screw up the show but if you have something running in the background or maybe your net is just having a rough time uh maybe the uh 15 wowhead windows i have yeah open. Look at all let's the close that whole browser <laughs> out because wowhead is not your friend and it, you are i'll skipping. leave the, yeah i'll leave the pwncast daily quest up and then yeah, i will you're yeah. skipping big time i wanted to stop you but you were on such a roll <laughs> and i was on a roll with the images and because the way that the transition was happening i didn't want to forget where i was uh, at I to have hope, to look so yeah i hope it didn't affect the show no there was just a couple times where you kind of it like made you stutter a little bit but it should be fine but uh now that we've decided see you guys seen live proof of the what happens when you don't pay for wowhead <laughs> yeah. uh rem i want to tell you that i am excited for argus and your excitement because i know that it's probably like your nerdgasm heaven of things. So I'm not excited at all. With that being said, uh, what do you have for us for your lore topic? So Turalyon is going to be the topic of today because he's going to be pivotal once again in the world of Azeroth and the cosmos. But first, you remind me about the Doomsayers and how they're validated now. Mm -hmm. But so... This is actually kind of pertaining to um, the the like pre-event for the next expansion because for Cataclysm, before it was released, you had the Doomsayers running around, and you had the it led up into the pre-event for Cataclysm, and the Doomsayers running around for the pre-Legion event pertain to Legion. So I'm thinking these Doomsayers being put in 7.3 means they're definitely going to be talking about. The expansion yeah yes <laughs> i mean obviously but no so because the uh the the, the does uh, that, do you have an idea did you read any of the pamphlets because there's listings of the pamphlets that get... no i haven't read the pamphlets for the new ones no so you should do that this week and then yeah. maybe you'll have theory crafting of what potentially we could be looking at but so far, all of the Doomsayers have been involved with the Old Gods in, somehow, in some way. So, Because with Cataclysm, you had Deathwing and him being a vestige <laughs> of Nazoth that wasn't like portrayed in, like, out in the open. But Deathwing was a servant of Nazoth during the Cataclysm. And then with the uh, Doomsayers for Legion, you have them get prepping for the fall of the Burning Legion. It makes sense because... In real life, those doomsayers, it's their priests and their drunk priests or druggy priests or crackhead priests or, or even just crazy priests LSD that deal priests, with, yeah. with God, right? Like, we don't do religions on the show, obviously, but that's what they do. So when you think about it, it makes sense that the doomsayers would show up for old gods. Yeah. Uh, if you're making very, that, like, real life game correlation. Yeah, the, uh, the very first set of doomsayers, one of the, I can't remember the, the quote, it's, I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but it was like, give up on your fake light and come join our like truth and something, something it's pretty much trying to put a twist on the, uh, the void and how it does actually better because we are meant to be slaves of the old gods. Where is it? 
Oh well. Um, but I'm thinking that's it's gonna be they're gonna be involved with the the pre blank expansion event, and it's gonna be right after. We already know it's gonna be right after Argus, but I'm surprised they already have it in the game. And obviously, it's gonna be tied to the old gods. But anyways, so Terralian is uh back in the the picture for 7.3, and for those who don't know. He is one of the first paladins of the Silver Hand, so he was chosen by Alonsus Fowl um, and joined Uther and um, Tyrion and all the others and was one of the first human paladins. And he was second in command to Andu and Lothar during the wars with the Orcish Horde. You can actually play as Terralian in um, Warcraft 2 Tides of Darkness, by the way. And so that was kind of gave me a glimpse of him being a knight and being all badass. But so he became the commander of the the uh, the entire alliance when Lothar had fallen to um uh, who was Blackhand. And so you have him leading an expedition force into um, Draenor and onto Outland. And so. This kind of gives the prerequisite to what has gone on to Turalyon and where did he go. Now we know. So he disappeared during the expedition and Khadgar was um, forced to close the portal so that the Orcish Horde could no longer go through the portal. And that's when the Sons of Lothar, paying homage to Andam Lothar, were stuck on Outland when we go there. And we find out Khadgar and all of them have been pretty much kicking ass on Outland and living and thriving until we find out that Thralian and Aurelia disappeared. And since Burning Crusade up until now, we had no idea of what happened to Thralian. Like he was the epitome of and having that courage and the light. And so he talks a little bit about what's going on. And so he's with the army of the light that we'll be dealing with in 7.3. And he is the high exarch of the Army of the Light, which is typically only bestowed upon Draenei and never really human. So it's actually pushing us towards um, maybe more story with the Army of the Light, the Thousand Year War, the big, pretty much the B of war that's going to be going on. And so... Trallian's coming in, um, and so what we're going to be doing is, I just lost my train of thought, wow, my apologies. So, he has his son, Erator, that um, he has his uh, child with, Alaria, who we are using his, um, his, not body, his, that sounded wrong, <laughs> using his his uh ties to uh Turalyon to actually open up the light's heart and that's where we find out about all the stuff going on with the army of the light and we get a little bit of a um insight into what we're going to be going up against and so wow um so uh Sorry. Wow. You okay? Um, I don't know. Yeah. What? What I miss? What I don't understand? I no. I'm fried. Um. Oh, I thought you might have spoiled yourself. No. Okay. Um. But no, we're gonna be seeing. Um. I, wow. I apologize. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. <laughs> I almost died today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but no we're gonna be um with argus we'll see Turalyon and what he's been up to and what he is capable of like i said the high exarch is only bestowed upon draenei typically and the the where we're talking about the light forge elec and how why is it an elec because the draenei are the army of the light they are the the brunt of the force that were taken by the naru and we'll be seeing a lot more conflict between the void and the light. And yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm not happy about that. 
What's funny is when people talk crap to me for interrupting, what they don't know is typically sometimes when I'm interrupting. Sometimes. It's sometimes it is to save someone that I can yeah. tell is struggling. Because I get those times too where I completely lose what even where I was going with something. Because we don't script the show, guys. We have bullet points of things we want to talk about and we're prepared for the show. So we do our homework to make sure that we have, we're knowledgeable about what we're talking about. We don't always get it right. What's funny is sometimes you'll have 20 things right and the one thing you get wrong, 30 people will comment on your YouTube to let you know you're wrong about that one thing. Like, one thing wrong. Like I said, we're not always going to be perfect, but that's okay. Rem, it happens to the best of us. You had a tough yeah, day. I, could be worse, Rem. People could think you're depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to, while we're transitioning, thank you, Rem, for that lore. Um, last week, Jimma's segment was not a cry for help. He is not in, <laughs> he's not in crisis. I think he just wanted to have a moment of being real. And um, I don't, he, yeah. I think every once in a while you just go through emotions when, when you're happy, you're a part of the show. And it's, it's sometimes hard to express. You want to have this moment and it just does not come out right. Yeah. For, for me, it was great. Um, <laughs> it, was. It, it was an awesome, like. Good. I like when we get like real and we have a little bit of emotion and yeah, I think it's healthy. It's, it, it says, look at me. And you care about, obviously, you know, I was going to quote house bunny. Um, why, why don't you go ahead? She says, it says, look at me. I'm naked in a magazine. <laughs> I, <laughs> I freaking love know. Anna Ferris. I am such an Anna Ferris groupie. I love her so much. Um, anyway, sorry to those who didn't get that. I really, House, I did yeah. House Bunny. I watched a lot when I was pregnant with my youngest. So that movie and, uh, baby mama are like two of my favorite movies because I have that happy memory of being pregnant with my son and just being lazy and not doing anything and watching those movies. Not it, it, well related whatsoever. So for Bell's Bites, we have two things. We're going to talk a little bit about the PvP tournament that happened, World Cup 4. Ooh. We're going to break that down a little bit and kind of the ins and the outs. Uh, and then I want to talk about um, some, I guess that's probably more for my, well, I guess that's kind of Bell's Bites. Anyway, but there's a couple things that I want to talk about uh, that are just real quick on leveling alts and quickly gearing and working on the weapon, just in case some of you may not be aware how easy it is. So let's jump right into the uh, cup four. Now, obviously, this wasn't too big of a deal for me. And the reason it wasn't too big of a deal for me is because it didn't have Reborn, which Reborn is my people, right? So Method Awakened is the um, <sighs> Smexen, Smexen's team, right? I'm correct in that, right? Do I have those two team names right? I feel like I always mix them up. And I know what I mean in my head, but I feel like I mix them up. Anyway, um... So, Awakened got knocked down right in the very beginning to the lowers bracket, and they kind of fought their way a little bit, and then they ended up losing to uh, Baby Rage, which is kind of funny. But overall, Splice took it. Now, I'm not surprised because Splice was a solid team, but what's weird is we took their Triforce, right? Because the Triforce guys that we have on Method for their EU side is, <laughs> they jacked Splice. They were like, hi, we're taking your roster. Um, but they did, they... Splice won. They actually were three to one for Union for the final um, for that one. And then, uh, like I said, Method did kind of battle their way. I did appreciate the gameplay that was happening. Um, some of the stuff that was being tweeted during this was having me. I was dying literally because of what was going on between Venruki and Supertease and these guys when they were tweeting during this. Um, Venruki was very upset at some of the comps that were happening, which was making me laugh. But uh, so this is leading into five, which I think not this week, but the following week um, is going to be, might even be September. I'm not 100% sure, but I know the week of the 20th, we've got the EU stuff happening. Uh, I watched bits and pieces of these matches because I was multitasking and I was watching on my phone. So I did get a pretty good amount in and managed to be able to kind of retweet as I could uh, to watch it. But it gets me so hyped, guys. Like, we are ready 
We are ready. We are ready. We are ready for BlizzCon to see these guys live. I've got my diaper on and I'm ready to go for the screaming and the possibly peeing my pants. Like I'm ready. Right I've now- said it on multiple <laughs> shows. Sorry to cut you off, but you do get super know, excited. It's like me and a, it's like most people like sport enthusiasts at a live game, right? Like I am into the whole scene. Now, hopefully next time I can make sure that I've eaten way before uh, and make sure that I'm really hydrated because it's super sweaty in that little section of the, the life. Um, but I'm ready guys. I'm going to be thin and, and very like, I'm not going to be out of breath because I was walking everywhere. Like I was last year because you know, I'm a fat girl. So like, I'm like <sighs> anywhere we had I'm to walk in there. Nice you know? And I'm over there at the ice cream thing. Rem, I don't know how many times I was eating ice cream, but it was a lot. I mean, every time you pass through, you try to at least get in the line. I did. I was completely obsessed with that. Now, also, a Rathy Blizzard happened this week. I got a chance to do a couple. I didn't get as many as I wanted to do, mostly because I didn't make the time for it. But I did get a chance to do a couple, um, and it was just as fun. I did find Lumber Mill, guys. So for those of you who were concerned about whether or not I could find Lumber Mill, I cheated. Did you I run into a bunch of hordes? I put the healer on follow because I knew the healer was going to Lumber, so... <laughs> Just kidding. You can't put people on follow. Um, oh, you see? got me. You thought I cheated. Oh. Yeah, you can't put people on follow in a battleground. I wanted to, though. But I did cheat. I, I did. I When I say cheated, I watched. You know where the going. people were. Yeah. Normally, whenever we're running to lumber, because I know it so well, I don't really have to pay attention too much in the direction I'm running because it's like it's muscle memory. But it was it was a hoot and holler and good time. You were yeah. you sneaky. Sneaky rogues, man, hiding in the blizzardry. See what I did yeah, there? Was there a lot of, right? Oh, that was good. Was there a lot of rogues right. cutting things up? Yeah, or but what? I'm seeing less and less demon hunters, and I appreciate that. Like, I'm really excited that I'm seeing less and less demon hunters because I need less <clears throat> I demon don't... hunters in general with my life. Like, I just need to be not. Doing I haven't anything. watched a lot of the tournaments, but I've seen a couple. But I, I don't think a lot of, it doesn't seem like a lot of the demon hunters were on the best teams anyway. Because real PvPers don't use the flavor of the fucking expansion real pvpers don't swap their whole life over for the new class well i think high, end, yeah. high end pvp like that no you don't see people that's why they have two or three that they but you don't see hardcore. you don't see a lot of demon hunters making it to the top like this you don't see them breaking oh, I'm not in talking their about demon, demon hunters, hunters. Not demon yeah hunters. you don't see a lot of that rogues yes because rogues counter a lot of comps so, oh, yeah, for sure. um, you know, those are definitely needed, but you don't see, I love that you don't see a lot of demon hunters. Yeah. You do see fucking prop pallies though. Cause officer bean d- literally makes me want to cry and shed physical real tears when he, I but saw. not in the finals type of team. Yes. Right? He was last year. He prop pally. I was, I wanted to cry because it just hurt my feelings. Guys, if you were PVPing in an arena and you're a tank, fuck you. How about that? Um, just kidding. I love you, but seriously, fuck off. If you're a PVP tank. The only viable one that I've heard. Battlegrounds is fine, but if you're in an arena, no. (laughs) Uh -uh. Prop Prop Pally is the only tank that I've heard of being viable this expansion as far as. I just think they could all shove off. Right. You don't belong in an arena, guys. Two versus two, three versus three, you don't belong there. Go the fuck on. Um, so... With that being said, now we often talk about uh, stepping yourself outside of your comfort Uh-oh. zone, right? <clears throat> so, Affliction, yeah. with that'll never happen. So, with stepping yourself outside of your comfort zone, one of the things that I did this week for no other reason, I had 20 other things I needed to do in game, and it was not adding this to my list for sure. But I thought, okay, I tell people to step themselves outside of their comfort zone. What? Why doesn't Bell try it? So, I have my monk healer it's reckon bell my little gnome she got her windwalker weapon like the same week i got the healer weapon the artifact weapon then i thought let me just see if i can tank maybe i can tank i I didn't think i could be a healer and i'm a pretty adept healer i'm not as good as a main healer if you main a healer obviously i'm never going to be good as good as you because that's what you do your role is to heal you know that role so I thought I would try it out. I was very scared. Internally, I'm very nervous and I'm thinking, what did I do? Why did I open myself up for this? Boy, did I regret it later with the guild because anytime somebody needed to tank, they were like, Belle can tank on her monk. And I'm like, you could kill yourself. Um, which is another reason I never tanked because I didn't want 
people to just to be, be like, needed like that. I'm or? already bad. It's already bad enough. They know that I'm a good healer now. Like once they know that they're not going to die in a mythic 10, they're like, oh, let's bring her. And I'm like, oh. I don't mind. Really, I don't mind healing. Healing doesn't bother me. The only time I don't want to heal is when I want a specific thing on Bell, and I don't want to swap out yeah. for that because I want my main to have that kind of stuff. So my mythics every week, the first thing I do is do them on Bell and then swap over. I didn't get to do the mythics this week like I wanted because I didn't have time. And our paladin friend, uh, our lovely paladin tank friend, did ask me a couple times, but unfortunately my time just did not allow for me to be able to do it with raiding. Uh, so if you're listening, thank you. I definitely am going to need you next week for sure, or this week rather. Um, so I did take up tanking and I want to talk to you guys, uh, just for two seconds. Uh, take my advice. If you haven't tanked, learn. If you are scared to do LFR, I would be scared too, guys. I don't want to do LFR because people in LFR are dicks. We talked about this the other day. I just, people are mean in LFR, but a, a guildy, uh, Callie's one of our, one of our top hunters. He had said, take another tank from the guild with you. Good idea. So your opposite tank isn't someone that's going to berate you because you're doing the wrong mechanic. You can be on, like I could be on, on Curse or Twitch with that guildy and not... I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> no, because you're mean to me. But I do think that that is a great idea. Get a, get somebody that's another tank and go into LFR and teach yourself how to do it. For a healer, you could do the same thing. Q with another healer. Honestly, it's really easy to learn to heal in LFR. That's the easy part. You oh, learn to well. heal. There's nothing to heal. Yeah, you'll learn to heal better in Mythics, to be honest with you, or running in your your raid, but test it out in Mythic. Mythic Plus is, start off with Mythics, but it was you really easy. You gave me some flashbacks. It was really easy for me to, to make the decision to do it, and then I did tank, uh, I, I tanked a regular Mythic, two, two Mythics actually, it was very scary. I was so focused that it gave me a headache that I found I couldn't do more than two runs at a time because I was so scared that I was not going to do it right that I my head was physically hurting. That's my own fault and it's just because I didn't I don't want to be that guy that messes up and causes us to wipe. So Another annoying thing, if you have classes that will take your aggro, it's annoying and it's frustrating, especially when you're learning how to tank. But then you have to realize that's something you have to deal with because that's part of mm -hmm. that's part of doing your runs is being able to make sure that you identify when somebody has your aggro and grab that back so it's not an issue. Because uh, we were running with Van um, and I think Tio was running with us. Tio said I did a great job. But... Um, I have my rotation pretty well down. I still need to work a little bit on my mitigation because I'm so focused on placement and making sure that I keep aggro uh, because provoke is my taunt and I think the keg smash also does a taunt. But I was so focused on... The keg smash just hits so hard that it... It taunts them? Taunt. Okay. Yeah. So I... And then I was trying to like think of my stagger because I'm brewmaster and one of my guildies had told me you have stagger to a certain point and then when you start seeing the red bar you have to use your other brew so that it cleanses you. Don't and you does... mean swagger? Mm. But because I heal on the monk, I feel like the tanking, understanding the rotation was easier because I really do identify with the monk on a spiritual level. Not like Bell, but... Pun intended? Yeah, but second to Bell, right? If Bell wouldn't be my main, I think it would be a monk, for sure. But I do understand the monk and it's... I'm going to say philosophies, but it's really the fantasy. I just jive with what the monk is all about. I just understand that. Uh, but I had a blast learning a new thing. And I, I feel like I could learn tanking from you now. Maybe oh, not yet. Awesome. Uh, Zithin is a, obviously a better brewmaster, but I love the brewmaster. Remember in the very beginning flashback to beta before Legion was live and I did all the artifact and I said that the brewmaster, even above Bell's weapon, the brewmaster was the one that I felt was most like its class fantasy because it's got the brew over the shoulder, just like you see the fat pandas in Pandaland walking around and... Um, yeah, it's amazing. I have the blue version of the second the second skin on the weapon is really Yeah, nice. I was just gonna ask how many you have or if you have the one that you I have want. the first row and then I have three on the second row. I haven't done a lot of work on the brewmaster except now I'm working on doing the weapon and getting gear yeah. because they had to swap out some of my gear pieces that were uh, heels only. So now I'm just kind of working on slowly guys, it's a slow process. I'm not gonna be jumping in and tanking all the time because that's not what I wanna do. But I want to tell you guys that story because I want you to do it. I want you this week, I want your homework to be, if you have extra time in game, do something you don't normally do, whether it's do a set of achievements, swap roles on whatever your main is. Do a role you've never done before. If you're DPS, pick up a heal spec. 
If you're a healer, pick up a tank spec. Do something you have not done and I want you to report back to me. That's going to be your, for the entire month of August, that is your homework. And I want you to send me, me uh, email bell at pwncast.net and tell me your story of you stepping outside of your comfort zone. It could even be joining a guild or talking in guild chat when you don't normally do. But I want you to do something that is unlike your normal game routine. And I want you to tell me the process and how you felt about doing that because I think it's important that we stretch ourselves out of our comfort zone because that is where we find other parts of the game that when we're getting bored with one we open up more possibilities because we stepped outside of that comfort zone um and a little bit of versatility is good guys and you two too like Rem really doesn't count because Rem does everything like there he doesn't really have a comfort zone he just does all the shits so he's not really like I would I like to see bored. I would like to see Jimma on a caster. Like, I would like oh. to see him mage or... Um, Warlock's one that I've wanted to do. I, I was a max to level see you, Warlock. I would love to Ada. see you, Warlock. But I would, I would love to just see you on a caster. Do something you don't normally do. Even if yeah. it's just casual, maybe you get, like, a level a week. You know, just do... Maybe you just get on there and you dick around for a little I've while. I've been a really baddie when it comes to alts. Yeah. You did give me flashbacks of me trying out my tanking first, though, which was the DK. And and doing the LFR, I, maybe, but I, I didn't know where to stand or what I was doing. And for nobody LFR. helps you. You just have to figure it out. You have to know if they do, if the boss does well, they, a they, front they attack fun of... that can hurt the raid, you have to move yeah. the boss. Um, I'm just straight up. When I went into the first LFR as tanks, I whispered the other tanks, like, I haven't been here. Just let me know when I need a ton. And done deal and that's a scary thing so going in with another guildie i think is exciting because they can tell me hey you need to taunt but the boss placement for me although is scary to remember the what it says on dbm before that mechanic happens for me to you know move the boss or whatever i was naturally like facing the boss not towards the raid and pretty much or towards the mythic and every uh, everyone we pulled because i i don't like it when the tank has poor placement. So I think that that might even make me not a better tank, but a, a more understanding aware. tank in that yeah. more aware because I know as a, as a ranged, I get pissed off when you don't put the boss in the right spot because it affects me. So anyway, I want you guys, that's your homework for the month. So for the entire month of August, comment on the show. I would prefer you maybe send me an email, maybe send me a direct message on Twitter. If you follow me, I follow everybody back. I never not follow people unless it just didn't notify me. But I want to know your story. And I'm going to talk about your story on on the show during Bell's Bites. I want to hear and tell me how you felt afterwards and if you kind of enjoyed that. So this doesn't mean tell me a time you did it two years ago, guys. I want this fresh. I want a fresh story. Um, and I want to know your process going through it because I enjoyed myself thoroughly. Now, to that end, you guys might be thinking, fuck you, Belle. I don't got time for an alt. <laughs> There's so much Sometimes. crap to do. It's so difficult to gear. It's so difficult to weapon. The grind, the grind, the grind. Guess what Belle's here to tell you? There is no grind. The second I get an alt maxed, my item level is already almost 890 by doing a few runs mostly LFR, doing world quests, my weapon is maxed within an hour or two back into one full concordance. No joke. On any alt I roll, any alt weapon I roll, because of, the, game, yeah. because of the because of the the catch up mechanic, there's no grind. So I don't want to hear anybody be, ooh, the grind. There's no grind, guys. I've done it seven times. Seven That sounds like a grind. <laughs> that's not a grind. It was easy. Yeah. All of my alts are almost 900 item level, and I only raid on one. Belle is 925 or 920 item level. I don't really know what her item level is, but all my alts are at least ready to go into the current tier of raiding with their item level if I so chose to, to swap an alt if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. If Belle can do it with her time, it's really, really easy. So... What I plan on doing is this week, um, I'm going to write up a quick strategy of things that you need to do the second you swap to a new weapon on a new spec or on a max, a, a new max level. It's just going to be like a quick beginner's guide of here's how you do these things and here's the list and the order in which you need to do them. I'm going to talk about that next week, but I do want to do a quick little guide because I feel like a lot of people don't know that you can do this, 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 and this, and it's really, really easy for you to be able to swap that out. So... Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> that was my very long-winded bells by today. I wanted it to, it really upsets me when people say that they're bored. I get really upset when people are like I'm bored. 
I well, get upset for them, not at them. I get upset for <laughs> them that their joy for the game is diminished because they feel okay, like they're bored. That's different. That's so fair. it hurts my feelings when people are like, I'm just bored. What? I am not bored. I'm the opposite of bored. I have too much to do mm-hmm. in game. So it really does bother me when people say that they're bored. I, I want to breathe new life into this expansion as we're bringing it to a close. Yes, the content, you know, every three months, the content's bringing people back. But I want you to keep your love for this because we're the only ones keeping it alive. Each individual player, I don't want to see people unsub because they get yeah. bored or they yeah. don't log in because they get bored. I spend my whole day timing my life so that I can log in and do what I need to do before I go to bed. Like, that's not a joke. I guess we are coming up on that dangerous time, that mid-year expansion where people do fade off a little. Yeah, I know well, we haven't had a lack of patches yet, but... But people I, just, I they, you guys? they phase out. But Pardon? helps me keep it alive. What does? The Bee Gees? I knew you were going to say that, you son of a bitch. Um, but I, th- I think it's important that you kind of keep that... <laughs> My husband made the door creak and he just gave me the funniest look ever. Um, I just, I think it's important that we keep the love and we have a responsibility as content creators to keep other people with that love. And sometimes it does take somebody yeah. getting you hyped for something and making you just remember things or, or just kind of, I've been trying to get my husband back into it because I feel like he would really like the class mount, especially for the paladin and his mage. Like I've been trying so hard and he's just not biting. It's just... I do. I remember I was in the the Zoom with with uh, the family or with uh, her husband, and she was definitely like, "Come on, we'll activate you right now." I was going to help him. I was going to push him through some content, and I was going to craft him some gear. We were going to do the damn thing, but he just will not pull the trigger. Uh, But on in truth, though, Overwatch is easy for him because he could just in between matches step away and do something for the kids. If I, it's my like at nighttime when I'm on. I'm on the computer. He kind of lets me have the majority of the game time in the evening because he can game during the day um, while I'm working with the boys up here. So he lets me have the nighttime. He's nice about that. But I just want people to stay involved in World of Warcraft. It's important. It's We're going in some direction. I don't know where we're going in, but I know it's going to be fucking amazing. I know that there, there big things are happening. I just don't know where it's taking us yet, but I want to keep as many people along for the right as possible. So that's my Bell's Bites um, for this week, we had some PvP and some uh, rando talk. It is a good feeling, though, feeling like the like I trust the next expansion will be good. I, I don't know if you guys are feel the same way, but I remember in Warlords, we weren't sure about Legion. Mm-hmm. And everyone, of course, has their own opinion, but I feel like Legion's been really good. So I, I just feel like we're in a good spot even for the next I expansion. prayed every day that Legion <laughs> is amazing because I thought if Blizzard makes me fucking wrong for telling people to not lose hope and that it's going to be good, that I am legit just going to set shit on fire because I have been telling people, have faith, have faith, please do not make me look stupid. Little did I know they were going to do the opposite and they just made me look amazing for having faith that entire (laughs) time. So all these other content creators that talk shit fell by the wayside and stopped creating content and they stopped podcasting and they stopped doing all these things because they didn't know how to keep people involved or even themselves involved in a shit expansion shame on you <laughs> yeah i was gonna Just, say because the game got better uh more more it brought everybody back all podcasts. of a sudden podcasters that yeah, hadn't right. been podcasting in two years came back and yeah hey while you guys were gone on vacation here we were every week non-stop we didn't go to other games like other people did some of us did which is why they're not podcasters anymore here but Yes, that is huge shade thrown at Hots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hots. Hots, if you're watching, huge shade for when you left us for over. But when he came back, he was going crazy. I was worried yeah, for right his. Right now, he's powder. doing his EMT stuff, and he. I'm, I'm really happy. happy to see him focused. I'm really happy to see yeah. him. Um, well, he had how many max level tunes? Like, I know, because he. Because that was a lot he lived of hours. The mythic, the mythic race. Like, <laughs> right. And all the grinding for all the artifact power early on, and now it's just And now like, it's so easy. Here's concordance, yeah. <laughs> I know, it's so easy. I got, literally, I had my first concordance an hour after the Brewmaster weapon was acquired. It was already done. I had to do a couple things on Broken Shore. Because when you have an alt, FYI, when you have an alt weapon, um, you go to Broken Shore in that spec, and they'll have a quest for you to do the thing to unlock your new traits. I don't know if anybody's noticed that. If you're wondering what the hell happens... On your alt weapon, the second you max it all out and you it's at its full max, which happens in two seconds because your first token you acquire after your weapon unlocks everything legit because yep. 
it if you just save a token for your weapon when you turn it over it just takes one weapon with all the number modifiers for the i don't do all that math but right. once you have your weapon maxed and it tells you you can't put any more into your weapon make sure you're in that spec and go over to broken shore and there'll be a quest for you so oh. it's different for everyone so do the things so that you can unlock your weapon and then everything gets refunded that you put into your last one and boom um you're able hmm. to unlock everything pretty yeah i'm close pretty to easy. concordance on my dps i still don't have it but i want like you just said i want my brewmaster weapon up there uh, super easy yeah. just get tokens from your order hall and bank your tokens for your other weapon if you're comfortable in the role like for the for the healer i still like to do healer world quest because i just really like crackling jade lightning <laughs> that's really all i do on those world quests but i like doing it does it. a decent amount of damage it i'm does. sure you've noticed as your gear has gone up you're and i have chen as my tank 000. so yeah. i have to swap out now i'm going to swap to a healer follower for when i'm on my tank which is pretty right. smart when you think about it but uh, yeah, for sure. So I feel like you do stuff. might not need it. Like, I mean, just because you're so powerful at this point, you, you might. But I, f I feel like even when I pull a lot of mobs in my DPS, you might be fine. Yeah, I do. I mean, I do all right. I don't die very often. And I use the group finder for the quests. So yeah, good call. Uh, remind me in my week in WoW to call out uh, the people that do the group finder for the world quests because... <laughs> Why they're not treating you good or no, what? there's just I caught on to something that people were doing that I didn't catch on until this last week when I busted somebody doing it and it made so much more sense to me. Uh, but we're I've talked way too much during my segment, so let's move on to our week in WoW. Jimma, what did you do this week in WoW? Yeah, I only made it to the first raid night in the guild group. Sorry. Uh not sorry <laughs> just joking sorry but uh yeah so i did i did a raid night and uh not apologize and apologize for not i don't know i felt like i was doing my bell moment it's, it's <laughs> a bell line sorry not sorry like i just felt bad that i didn't go but i, I wasn't that sorry because they keep making me dps <laughs> so, but it's just because i show up to the group on time but like right barely on time so they've all of a sudden got five healers and i'm like i guess i'll dps so I just, I hate when, when I like, there's times where I die because I'm not used to being a melee and I'm, I'm getting hit by stuff or I should have moved out and I'm, I'm hurting the group by being dead. And then there was another time where I was dead because I didn't get any heals. So I, I just wanted to heal. So that's why I guess over explanation of sorry, not sorry, but, uh, rating still fun. I got an awesome trinket for my healer as far as just like an upgrade. It was my biggest upgrade. So I am excited to just heal a little more. I did. I haven't done a lot of heroic Sargeras. I've only really pugged uh, a lot of them. And I've said this so many times. I just, I wish I could change my work schedule to just get some more rating in, but, uh, I guess that's a, a lot of talking for, uh, just, just a little bit of rating and, uh, Rating with leashes five research excited for the the new pets and just uh gear not garrison missions class order hall missions so it's it's kind of a light boring week as far as what I did I uh, hope you guys had a more exciting week I hope you better of I always uh, have exciting weeks yeah the big tank uh, moment Rem, what Rem? did you do this week I did a lot of alt stuff um leveling the rogue a little bit more. Did a bunch of world quests, Broken Shore, getting those tokens for the alts of the alts. And I did PvP with Sketch on Tuesday. Did that in the the Rathi Blizzard. How'd that it's go? my favorite map that they've done for the brawls. But um yeah, PvP, World Quests and Alts. Gotta get that ass ass leveled up. That's it. The what what? The ass ass assassination. The only oh. thing that's crappy about your guys' weeks in WoW is mine is like 20 minutes long because I tell my whole story of what I did in World of Warcraft. Well, you we guys... want you to. We, yeah, but we I, then I'm the one that talks most and everybody's like, ooh, Dirk Dirk, Bill talks too much, Dirk Dirk. What are they like? <laughs> <laughs> I I didn't want to I didn't want to lead off, but I just... That's really my... awkward because my smile's still crooked. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, my week in WoW was just lighter compared to other weeks. So I, I guess I do probably do triple the amount of you stuff you guys do. You almost said doo-doo. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I do triple the amount of stuff you guys do, so that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, work didn't allow me to have much flexibility. I agree. To be fair, though, like, where were you all day Sunday? You didn't even log in until late Sunday night. Where were, where were you? Where were you all day Saturday? 
What do you mean? Where I, I was cooking for my brother. That's unfair. Yeah, and I decided to go out to a buffet. So. Oh, these guys did go to a buffet. I don't eat it. <laughs> now nah, you guys should make me rage about the disgustingness <laughs> of buffets. Buffets, no, moreover, buffet. free buffets at the casino. Please don't. Hometown buffets. It's gross, it's got... right? Ugh, it's like uh, it's hillbilly. Budget. Please don't. But did I die? No. <laughs> Ugh, so gross. I watched the thing. The crab um, legs were good. So. I, yeah, I'm sure because they probably have the blood of someone's children on them. Like, I literally, they're so dirty. Most buffets do not. I've been they're not only clean. cautious. I'm well aware of that. I service some. So yeah, so you should well know better. I hope you enjoyed those roach legs in your noodles, Kate, because that's what happened. More protein. Um, <laughs> buffets crab just legs. creep me out, and it might be the snob in me. Like, I'm ghetto, but buffets really, especially free buffets... Not well, not only guys. free, but cheaper. <laughs> There's a reason you you so you usually get what you pay for. Yes, so you do. Getting a huge meal. I got exactly what I paid bucks. for. I didn't pay nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, let's hear about your long week in WoW, Bell. The, the people want to know what you did other than so, tank. Because I got the three weapons on the Brewmaster, so I did get the weapon, the achievement, the power ascended, I think, or the power realized. It's one of those power achievements. Ascended, I believe, yeah. Um, then I realized, because I did the brewmaster as monk, or as a healer. It was easy peasy. Like, I did it as a healer. I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't do it as a healer, and then... You did. I did, <laughs> completely. Um, I thought, oh, shit. Now I could get the affliction weapon on Bell and not have to transfer over. Because this whole Look time, out. this whole time I thought I had you to... You had to go. Yeah, because in... In, when I did the stuff in beta, I only did it as demonology. Wait, you don't have your affliction weapon yet, or you didn't until I this didn't. week? That's, your That's crazy. Because I don't want Bell to ever be affliction. I know you don't, but So still. I thought, if, fuck, if I have to, because when I tried to do it before, it had said, like, do you want this for affliction spec? And then it said you have to, ch it didn't say you have to change over, but in my mind, I read, right. it seemed like I had no choice. So I was like, eh, fuck you, not doing it. <laughs> so then I thought, well, let's do it. Now that I don't have to, I can totally do it as Destro, and I don't have to. I can get be a good. I feel like to be a good at your class, you should have all three or all four of your weapons if you're yeah. a druid. I feel like to be the master of your class, you really have to. Um, yes, I know some of you are going to be like, but Bell, in order to be the master of your class, you have to play all specs. I have. Yeah. I've played Affliction, guys. I've played it. I've played all of them. I played a lot of demonology in beta because the destruction wasn't open for the first wow. almost seven or eight months in beta. So I've played all three of my specs and I have found the other two wanting. Like, destruction's my thing. So I go do it. Boy, did I know that I was going to get shit from everyone in the guild the second I got that achievement and they realized that I did the, <laughs> that I did the, and then all of a sudden the guild chat just goes crazy. What? Bells on affliction? What? Like, everybody was just talking so much shit and i was like guys calm down i'm in destruction spec like i'm not still counts you unlock affliction stuff i'm so. not changing specs like this is not a thing guys i'm not doing it so what i did enjoy is that i got to see the weapon from demonology and afflictions perspective i did appreciate that it was good for me um and i did not make me want to do affliction by the way at all it just sits in my bank now. It's just there. Another thing that I realized that I didn't do, which typically at the end of an expansion, when I'm doing alts and getting them all maxed, because I always max all my alts by the time the next expansion happens so that I start with a fresh set of max from previous expansion. The only one I've ever let lapse is the mage because I, I don't really care about the mage. So the mage is still wearing timeless isle gear, actually, now that I think about it. So... I remember that I was like 30, 40 points away from getting the way of achievements for my cooking. Because when Pandaland happened and we went to Draenor, I completely abandoned like my way of my, the grill, the way of the brew, the way of the walk and all that stuff. So Softy and I were talking about it and he was like, hey, I can totally help you with that. And he spent, uh, I want to say it was a week, it might have been a little bit more doing his tiller farm because... I talked about my tiller farm last week, guys. It only had four plots, and I was fighting with strangled roots and parched melons and stuff. So he was very, very kind to donate uh, his time and his very expensive mats for getting the rest of the achievement 
cooking achievements that he could have sold in the auction house and made a shit ton of money. Oh, I'm sure those However, are However, we had a deal, guys. Days. Don't think that everybody gets something for free because Bell's not the exception. I did offer to give him my Legion mats before we go into the new expansion because everybody knows Bell purges her personal bank and the guild bank before the new expansion a month before because that's what I do. So I did offer. So he's going to come up, guys. Don't act like I just took a handout because I'm a girl. But now I am doing my dailies for the tillers because I need to get the recipes. There's recipes that I need to buy, so that's what I'm working on. Yeah. And I feel like he worked really hard to get me those, give me the stuff for those achievements, and I wanted to do him proud by doing my tiller stuff. So I do do my tiller stuff. I said do do. Um, so I've been working on that as well as just the random old stuff, uh, working on guild things. But that's pretty much been my focus is just doing everything i can i didn't get many mythic pluses done this week like i wanted but i'm making it happen for sure so it's funny to come into chat and hear you like randomly talking to the pandas like at first i'm like what is she doing and then i've pieced it together it there's, kind of a, there's a npc um that sells the bread but you can steal the bread off her table her name is ella, oh which is, ella yeah <laughs> which is my best friend heather and i'm like why are you selling bread for? Like, I was making fun of her saying she had a lot of yeast. I'm super immature, guys. To be friends with me is to just know that I'm not mature. I, my daughter said vulva oh, instead of Volvo for a car. And I lost my shit at the dinner table. <laughs> and I just looked at her and I said, I'm sorry, mommy's not mature. Like, I'm, I apologize. I'm not. She didn't know why I was laughing because she really thought the Volvo was She was going to be driving a Volvo soon. Well, she was like, my friend hit my friend's car and totaled her. Volva, and I'm like, you mean Volva? Volvo, right? Because it's Volva's an entirely different thing. And she was like, no, it's Volva, and I'm like, it's not. Or she <laughs> so, tried to like correct you. <laughs> yeah. So I had to Google to show her a picture to let her know that she's had a Volva all along because it's attached to her body. But <laughs> it was. So then Murky was over here, and Murky yells Volva, and then my four-year-old yells Volva, and I'm like, okay, guys, <laughs> let's get done. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much. Just doing, now I'm doing alt stuff, leveling alts. Um, I'm working on the rogue still. I kind of, it's at a, it was at a standstill because I had, I was doing catching up on world quest stuff, but um, I got a legendary on the warlock that's garbage. I don't, not compared oh, you to weren't it. happy with that? It no. just, compared to my other two things, it's just was stupid. 15% yeah. increased damage to a havoc affected target, which is stupid compared to the sol shoulders that I have and my kill genes burning wish for AOE. It just didn't make sense because I have my empowered life tap and all that stuff just didn't seem right any of you warlocks that uh use destruction and have empowered life tap as a talent if you would like a great macro for tracking when you need to reapply your empowered life tap um to get the 10 percent damage buff send me a dm ask me comments on the show and i'll send you the uh week or string because it's pretty legit are you telling people to slide into your dms <laughs> yes oh, it's going down yes yeah. Okay. But seriously, what what are macros though for those? I don't I don't. What is a macro? No weak weak or not macro. Sorry. I have weak or that have aura? a tell that as soon as that it goes off your head, you know you need to reapply your ember your uh, empowered life tap, which is your. Why can't it be a strong aura? I'm confused. You're a weak aura. Okay, so I got the all three weapon achievement on Bell. Got it on Monk. Now let's end my Bell's bites by calling out. World Quest people. Now the World Quest feature is amazing, especially as you're a, as a healer, to be able to right click, find group, zone in, and have a group of people that are willing to help you because you're a healer and you heal them and get your shit done. Boom, get in, get out. Yeah. I have noticed the last couple weeks that I've been doing this that sometimes it takes forever for us to finish a World Quest. And I thought, fuck, there's four other people in this group. Why is it taking so long? So we're letting you do the work. Yesterday. Uh, sorry, creaky door. Yesterday. I'm like, I see the hunter dot. I see the shaman dot. The priest is down here with me. And I see the druid dot, but they're not on the ground with me, but yet they're right on top of me. <laughs> I pan the camera up and they're all mounted, hovering over the area while me and the priest. I'm on a healer, mind you. It doesn't matter. My healer, she does her flying serpent kick, whatever shit she does. But I was like, really? Really? So I watch. I want to see. Maybe they maybe they were just looking and they didn't. You know, I'm giving people the benefit of the doubt. The whole world quest. I was the leader of the group. So let me tell you what happened. I waited until we only needed like one more thing of what we were Kicked doing. And them. I booted them all out of the group. And I don't even feel bad for it. Like, I don't no, that's, give a that's shit. No, that's a good for you type of thing. To but be honest. how rude. Guys, if you're one of these people, please don't. Don't. Let's like... 
I can make the comparison, but it's not politically correct on the show. <laughs> Whoa. But don't get rich off other people's sweat, guys. That's just horseshit. That's messed up. That is Unless messed up. Unless it's your friends and they're okay with it, because this is giving me a flashback where my friend got real mad that I was leeching the rep off something it's, we were grinding. It's different when, like, let's say me and Rem are doing something, and occasionally I squirrel. And Rem finishes it while I've squirreled. So daily world quests together? Right. But two, be in a group with strangers and three out of the five yeah. people in our group are hovered above us on their mounts, not doing anything. Like, to me, that's just... Guys, why are you playing this game? We could have been done because they waited and it was just me and a priest. I'm a healer. I'm not much yeah. help. Because it was just me and a priest... I'm sure they didn't mind that they had to wait for it, but I just, I don't understand this kind of behavior with people. And I'm really starting to get very frustrated with the community here. I'm really getting frustrated with the community because I feel like, so then after every world quest, I was really paranoid. So I was watching everybody's dot. Making sure, <laughs> yeah. Like people weren't cheating, but I did catch this a few times. This happened all week to me. Yeah. It wasn't always the whole group. Maybe it was just one. Right. One time it was just a hunter. He was just chilling up there. And I was just like, really, guys? I yeah, I've left whole groups because I was the only one killing stuff. So. That's just frustrating. Like, I don't expect you to do all the killing, but I just need you to be my Help partner. Out. Right. You know? Be my partner. You kill and I'll make sure you never die. I'll heal you to your to heart's content. Like, I only do it on my alts. On Bell, I don't need, I don't ever do the group finder because I can solo anything on Bell. So I can even solo the 44 million wanted um, for the warden stuff. I can solo those because of the blueberry. So. I don't, Bell, I need very little help to do stuff, but my alts, I'm, no affliction spec. my alts, I'm dependent. I'm dependent on people to help me because in, especially like right now, the shaman's not geared very well. Sometimes soloing is a struggle, especially as elemental oh, yeah. because all of my cast time is like three seconds. So my, my, my damage is great. It's when it finally damages like all that stuff. So guys in summation, don't be a fucking chode in group activities. Huh. Yeah, reminds Ram. High, nah, I, it reminds me of high school group activities. It was like I was only one, always the one that did all the work. Yeah, it's like the people that step on, like the rich people that step on the poor to get to the top. Like, fuck your taxes and fuck your couch because I'm not paying that shit anymore. <laughs> um, I just, I didn't want to get political. So I was like, eh, maybe we should just <laughs> avoid, avoid those things, yeah. guys, because... The world is in a very curious state and we need to learn to love each other. So with that being said, that was my week in WoW. I did miss gaming with Rem this week. I didn't get to do a Aww. lot of it. I did. It was very, very sad. Um, you should treat him better. Guys, do you know what he puts me through on a daily basis that I just live with? He does get her back. He does torture her a when little. When you say but... get me back, it's as if he's retaliating for my shit behavior. No, uh, I sometimes, that's what he was doing. <laughs> sometimes I'm retaliating against his shit behavior. Oh, that makes sense. And it hurts my feelings, okay? You don't even have feelings. <laughs> he has no feelings, guys, no feelings. So I want to know, Jim, what are you going to do this Homework. month? Homework this month in World of Warcraft. I want you to know what you're, I want you to know. I want to know what you're doing this week. Or this month this for month. stepping so yourself August. outside of your comfort outside. zone in World of Warcraft. Well, you were happy to know I did buy a desk. It's on its way. So maybe when I have the desk set up, it's not, I mean, I've done it before, but I have it on the new computer. Maybe dedicate a day or two of days off to streaming. Maybe we can do some sort of fun event. That's I know outside that's outside of your comfort zone. You're right. I was about to say it's not, but if I but mean, maybe you I, could stream being outside of your comfort zone on an alt or something. I You're could. doing random stuff. It, and I've thought about doing alts. I just feel like my main needs the time. So I think that's one of the reasons. It's not that I'm bored. It's even just an hour or two of your game time dedicated yeah. to an alt is okay. Well, it is okay because there's all the different pets for all of them. So I really do need to get the Death Knight and mm -hmm, then uh, mm -hmm. so yes. I just to play an alt, a Death Knight. But then it's not on the server. Everything else is on another server. So I also feel disconnected when I go on my Horde side where I all my Horde tunes are. And then my only other Alliance character Maybe is also. you should bring something over. That's why I've got like <sighs> two or three different tunes on like. It's five expensive because yeah. you're Horde, right? <laughs> 
it's expensive too. Like I don't even want to do the alliance to alliance transfer. It's just like money's tight right now with a lot of the. It's in-game gold. You're not things. paying a dollar. Whoa, whoa! I'd rather pay, spend real money. <laughs> I wonder how much that is. You uh, have tons of gold? tunes that are rich. I know, but they're rich because they say for I, every for every token you buy, it turns into fifteen dollars of your battle net balance, right? Fifteen or ten? Fifty thousand? Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. It's either fifteen or ten. No, not fifty thousand. It's, it's hundred and twenty-one thousand gold. That's crazy server. for fifteen dollars. But you probably have a million. I you do. probably have like several tunes capped. Quit being cheap. As not capped. Oh my gosh. Stop being cheap. I will step out of my comfort zone. Think of something good this week. Jimmy oh, Banks, yeah. if you have a character on another server with a bunch of gold, what we can do is I'll help you make a guild, and then Bell here will pay for your transfer. Hello, <laughs> oh, Shout out to let the me shaman. Do, let me do a typical gym thing where I let Rem and you answer, and let's see if I got a better RIP answer. Bell's <laughs> friendship when people use her for <laughs> server transfers and then lie to her and take their tune out of the guild while she's out of town and pretend like she knew all along. I'm gonna have to cut that there out. It is. <laughs> We're gonna have to cut that out because some people oh might be offended. Uh, guys, if I forget to cut this out, which it's highly possible I do, don't be offended. Some stuff just go with it, okay? We lost um, some subscribers. I can't believe I did that. I went the whole show without <laughs> saying something stupid. Uh, so, guys, that was the show. I think it was a great show, and I wanted a tiny Groot. It's a mini baby Groot. Isn't he the cutest thing ever? We are. His Groot. lips are a little red, but that's cool. Like I'm not going to judge your lipstick, bro. He's all right. Yeah, he's a, just a little teeny tiny Groot guy. Like he just chills. He just hangs out. I wanted oh, to showcase my group. So, guys, I think we had a great show. We had a lot of good information. I promised to do PTR this weekend. Um, I promised to... Um, is that my out of my comfort zone is get into PTR, I guess? I think that would... Well, I I think for you is you don't like it ruined, whereas me and Rem don't... There's some stuff I don't want to yeah. ruin, so I'll let Rem do it. But yeah. I think you just are not as deep into the information yeah, as we are like i need to know Correct. all the things because i need i need to understand them so yeah. that when the time comes people say hey how do i do this or what does this mean right. i have that information because it's expected of me um and i feel like i can help other people navigate through those waters we have great people that put out great things but yeah. um i feel like it doesn't sound as good coming from the three of us in my opinion i'm biased of course guys don't let's not get real crazy here uh Rem's super stuff. tired. The rest of the Kickstarter stuff's coming this week. I think I just have to order the t-shirts, and I'm kind of been slow playing because I, I've been shopping vendors. I'm not happy with any of the t-shirt vendors. So Yeah, I'll be better next week after not. I don't have heat exhaustion. So, yeah. <laughs> I was the same hot Rem's. in your state. Yeah, bro, you ever been to Arizona? Uh, you're stuck in an attic for two hours when it's 90 degrees. It gets pretty hot. Maybe you should be better at your job so you're not doing it for two hours. It was an <laughs> deal. I had a seal up their wall and it was a bad time okay well we appreciate you well while you were in the attic we were in raid talking about catching balls that was legit the whole raid talk was avoid the uh, balls he... catch the balls don't touch the wrong color balls get the right balls do the right thing balls 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 and i balls, know balls. what boss you were on what boss were we on the ball mistress. boss guys there was balls no flying. it was not mistress <laughs> damn it i'm bad at this game we've been doing really good with raid Matt, the guild the guild run it. Heroic Fallen Avatar, and uh, it's really tough, guys, on Heroic. That's why it took so long on Mythic, oh, yeah. because this shit's hard on Heroic. I'm just saying. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, guys, that was all we have for today. Make sure you comment on the show. I tried to comment on as many posts as I could as I possible last week. I'm getting kind of back into the swing of things. Uh, update on Timmy. Huge scar. Still tender. That's still swollen. Well, um, you can't see it, but it's it's yeah. bowed out, but it's just the muscles. It's healing, so it's just doing its thing. There's one lone stitch that's sticking out right here. And Ooh. I got tweezers earlier, and I was like, I'm going to get this son of a bitch. Well, when I pulled it, it pulled part of the stitch, but it didn't come out. And then it, like, slinky oh. back in there, and it bled a little bit. And I was like, you're attached to something important. I'm going to leave you in there and not mess with you. Yeah, So please. it's poking out. And what I ideally what I'd like to do is I'd like my husband to get the clippers and at least clip it so it's not. Because, like, when I do this, it pokes me. Um, yeah. Just to give you guys that visual. It's not good. I talked about it in Raid and everybody freaked out. 
Really? I, I can't handle listening to you. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm calling you out for being a biggity bitch. This game was like, I'm muting. Tell me when she's done. Don't be a, like you have, Van, you have a daughter. You're going to see and experience way worse than what I was telling you. Like, <laughs> I mean, it could just be an ingrown hair. So. Kids shit, piss, bleed, and puke all over you. Like, and you're a, a little bit of string talk. Come on. A baby puke. But... Oh, yeah, uh, that's not. I'm not. Dog do smell it. Oh, dog feces. Anyway. Yeah, I have to, like, pick it up like this. Uh, this took a really awkward turn. So, guys, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening. If you're on iTunes uh, or whatever of your uh, vessel of choice to deliver Pwncast to you, make sure you follow Jimma Banks on Twitter, at Jimma Banks. Make sure you also follow his Snapchat, because his can squirrel Snapchats are amazing. <laughs> uh, he is also at Jimma Banks. Make sure you follow Rem on Twitter, at Remedies underscore Pwncast, and make sure you follow him on Snapchat for your daily food fixes, at Remedies Zen. Today. That was only good. And part of make sure you follow me on Twitter if you want really weird and random shit at Bella Pwncast on Twitter. And then at uh, for Snapchat, it's at Samantha is it is it hey. yes, at Samantha is it um, because Bell enjoy editing the show after <laughs> I haven't decided if I am guys, if I didn't bleep out my misspeak, that was not offensive. I should even have re brought it up. If I didn't bleep it out because I got tired and just forgot, guys, don't judge me, okay? You know She's I love fine. you all. Anyway, I can't believe I did that. I've done that a few times, guys. I had to bleep it out. Um, anyway, so with that being said, guys, we had ourselves a show. Right? Yes? Enthusiasm? Gold what? Lion? Yeah. What? What? I fit into this again. Honestly, I quit wearing the shirt because I wasn't fitting you into it. You faced What? What? Little Let's, Ragnaros. You guys what? are going to start seeing some more versatile t-shirts because I'm hitting the gym. So I can Reversible? Fit and oh, yeah. You got to go to more than three shirts. Yes. Oh, I mean, I don't really branch out that much <laughs> anyway. But Okay, guys. We're going to get the hell out of here. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you guys next week. Farewell. Laters on the Men J. Laters on the Men J. Um, guys, I have to bleed. Uh, I, I didn't want Why to, I, did you guys let me keep talking? It's only when I go on my little tirades that I forget my place in life, and then I just say, I forget we're on a show instead of with my friends, and I say stupid shit that other people might find offensive, but I don't mean it. <laughs> well, I thought because I re-brought it up, I'm like, you just kept talking about it. Like, I, I just need to remind myself to edit it because I can edit it after upload. I just need to remember to do it.